Steve uh, finally confronted yesterday <laughs> that that guy that the, the landscape the awful landscaper guy um, with the pinhole in our pipe. Yeah, that's a different video. He's where... not usually there, so but he was there yesterday. I'm this. like that guy's there. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Wasn't even wow. late. But anyway, so Steve confronted him, and he was shady as usual. Oh. It was, it, he, first off, we haven't seen him very much. He has mm -mm, guys. He has come, his guys do it. Steph came in the garage and said, hey, that, that guy's there. I said, oh, okay. So I went out there and I stood out in front of that house for a while waiting for him. How did I say to start the conversation? Found out how you, uh, you guys messed up my yard. Well, we, you know, we did everything we could and, and we don't try to, like, just rambling. Like, we don't do that stuff on purpose and checked everything and why would I check that in 25 years I never had that happen I said it doesn't matter if you've ever had it happen I don't I'm not saying that weird things can't happen and I wasn't even when it happened when we were having trouble I wasn't upset I was just like hey you got to fix this you know that's that's ultimately what happened with it. and then he, they gave up because they couldn't fix it when I told him I said hey I got proof of it too so you owe me some money and I did tape it, but I didn't show his face, and I just slimy, slimier than oh, I. Oh, he said, you know. "Well, I'm gonna have to talk to my accountant." Well, he said, "Well, send me a, send me a, um, put it in writing, and I'm not paying a ton of money. So I'm not, I'm not asking for a ton of money, but I am asking for some money." And he goes, "Yeah, put it in writing because I have to go through the accountant." That's what he said, and I said, "I'm not, I'm not asking for a ton of money, and." You don't need to, the amount's not gonna be something you need to go through an accountant for. And he goes, well, I, the business is run through an accounting and blah, blah, blah. When I paid him, I paid him through Venmo. Yeah. <laughs> paid him through Venmo, which I didn't think, Steph told me that when, she, when I came in. It was like, he's still sliding. To his own name. It wasn't a company name or anything. It was just Venmo and we paid him to fix. He was gonna replace our, he said we needed a new box. Yes. Like a sprinkler, like timer and stuff, which we didn't. The one we had was totally fine. But he just had this whole thing of how he's gonna transform our yard. Yeah. And just make it lush she's and all this stuff. It. And, um, cause he's fantastic. Yeah. And the neighbor's yard does look really great. So we're but like, there's okay. There's, yeah, but there's nothing he has to do there. They just mow it and stuff. Yeah. The neighbor's yard, the guy that lived there before, was freaking obsessive about all that stuff. So yeah. all he's doing is mowing what that guy set up. Yeah, that's, that's it. true. That's Trim, true. Trimming the bush and stuff. But remember Jim, he was like, yeah, he was always out there working on the he yard. He was. Every he's freaking retired day. And he enjoyed it. Yeah. But um, anyway, so he had all this stuff that he told us he was going to do. He was going to fix sprinklers. He was going to do all this stuff. So then when he messed up our front yard, and we had no sprinkler. Yeah. Ridiculous. So yeah. we'd already paid him, which was dumb. We're rambling on now, but yeah. anyways, so we're gonna send him an invoice and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping he just ignores me and then we can go to court. And then, I don't know how you get on Judge Here's Judy, but I'd love to do we that. We do, is we send him a bill through Venmo, a pay request. That's what yes. we can do. Because I'm already buddies with him on there. That's a good idea. And then we'll just send him like 200 bucks or something. Nah. If we got to make it an amount that he will say no to, and then we can go to court. <laughs> but we'd have to justify or show how we paid more than that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then, uh, hey, this is how we paid you last time, dude. That's another thing, bro. That you're you're going through an accounting firm, but this is how you ask to be paid. Mm -hmm. It's weird. You don't see it. And I've been around a lot of those guys, but I just was blind to it. I don't want to see it sometimes, I guess. Yeah. And Plus, he's doing the neighbors in their house. Looks yeah, so nice. Yeah, I think that, really that gives, cool. it, gives it a little bit of credibility, right? Yeah, you know you're going to see him all the time. We've seen him for a year you feel every like, week. Yeah, you just feel safer. Yeah. So you let your guard down. But, all right, guys. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Found out how you, uh, you guys messed up my yard. When the, the valves were cut down, yeah. when they glued it back, the glue made the hole like a pinhole. A new guy was trying to figure it out. And then after he checked through the, the yard, the, the actual sprinklers, he went and started checking those. And sure enough, the one that goes to the front, it was literally 
like a pinhole. It was just gooped full of the the glue. Well, glue we use on the valve itself anyway. So no, I'm saying like on the the pipe. Know? The glue. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm saying that was what the problem was. Okay. Like everything that was checked, it was like this doesn't make sense. And I was telling you, like, hey, this thing was working the whole, you know, the whole time. Yeah. But now it does make sense when you see, because you guys changed the valves and yeah. put those pipes. So doesn't that make sense then that that one? I mean, I do. It, it got, I've done the same shit for 25 years, and I've never had any any problems, Steve. Come on, it was working before, and then all of a sudden that glue's there. It wasn't me. Well, yeah. I didn't. But, I mean, it was a. That's what happened. The glue, when those were changed, yeah. it just had too much. Well, I don't. I always make sure to primer and glue because I don't want to call back the you know say in the middle of night a, a valve is blown off or something. And I told you right away when hey, there's something wrong with this. You know, and like we came over, and I came over with another irrigation guy. And we went through it. But you guys didn't it. check the pipe. You did. That's the thing. Like if, it, if that would have. We, we weren't thinking about a pipe. You know, you go through a whole system. And I kept going through. Okay, is it? You know, uh, we. What happened? I know you're troubleshooting just like a mechanic yeah. would do. But now I'm telling you, I found out what it is. Okay. So, you owe me some money for that, man. Like I did not get what I paid for on that. I and those parts and, and my labor that was you know. You won't even you don't even remember the conversation because I said this is what's fair to give me back, and you didn't you cut off communication then. We and haven't you said talked it wasn't ever your, since then. But you said it wasn't you know your nope we there's nothing we did wrong, and now I'm saying hey I found out what well, it was. Then give me something in writing and then we'll figure it out. You guys troubleshooting and then you just basically said don't know what's wrong like the other guy doesn't know what's wrong i certainly didn't know what was going on yeah and i and told then, you but my lawn i was out there hand watering it man yeah okay so now and then i finally get a guy over here that okay let's try to get another landscaper in here and i told him hey the front's messed up and we don't know what's wrong with it and he spent time doing the same thing went through everything went through the sprinkler he found it he cut those down and one of them was epoxy so i'm just letting you know that hey that's what was wrong man and that's not something that i did to me in writing and i'll i'll talk to to my accountant who does everything for the business and then we go i communicated with you and then you're like oh you're gonna get no i'm not gonna give you money back i never from, said it like that yeah uh, it was in well, text you know the problem was is texting you can't text someone back and forth but then, when i did it i didn't text you like the way you're talking i never would talk to you like that i was always respectful and i was always like man this is weird and then when you finally said we don't well basically here's what it came down to the crux was you said that it had to be happening before you and it wasn't so you didn't believe that when i was telling you hey my sprinklers my lawn was green when you started and my sprinklers worked okay so that was that was your you know it's like that was the history it worked when you did it it didn't work get you a, a number that know. i think is fair and it's not gonna be a number that you should have to go to an accountant for but that's up to you